I drew my hole back for second swing golf, and I'm here with Chris Wachelle, um, back with us to talk about some Mizuno irons, specifically the MP18s. If there's one thing Mizuno's known for, it's this type of golf club. This is why yeah. Mizuno's a thing, mm -hmm. and that's the clean, classic, pure type golf club. The MP18 expands on a line that goes back oh, yeah. dozens or almost 100 years in terms of making fantastic looking and feeling golf clubs. Some of the new technologies in the MP18, which features three different models, the MP18, the MP18 SC, and the MP18 MMC, are the grain flow forging HD process. Grain flow forging is something we've done for a long time where we ensure that we align the grains from the hosel all the way out to the toe for long continuous grains, so you have a very soft feel, but at the same time, it's a feel that lasts a long time. So funny, you look at the golf industry and people put vibration dampeners and all these to try to kill vibration. Mizuno feels the exact opposite is what you need. You need oh, yeah. vibration to get feedback, and that's what the better player demands, and that's what the MP player looks for. So the grain flow forge process, along with the HD process, which concentrates even more grains in the impact area, make sure you get the longest, softest feel available. So then you got to talk about how you get this set custom fit, and that's where the MP18 line really shines, because with these three models, the muscle back, the SC for split cavity, and the MMC offer three levels of forgiveness and launch. The muscle back, this is the one designed for the player. You know, I really like to knock it down. I like to work the ball. I like to do a lot of stuff. I don't want the club telling the ball what to do. I want to tell it what to do. That's what the muscle back does. Then when you get into the longer irons, you want a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more launch. The SC, which is the split cavity, features a tad bit more forgiveness, but a very similar look at address. So that's going to launch a little bit easier, have a little bit higher moment of inertia. Then you get to the third version, the MMC. MMC stands for multi-material construction. Still the same grain flow forge process, but you can see here there's actually titanium forged into the back of the golf club, as well as tungsten put out on the toe. So that's going to redistribute the weight around. So when we added a little bit of forgiveness here, add even more forgiveness mm -hmm. here. So it's just another lever to pull of, I want this in my long irons, this in my mid, this yeah. in my short. It's a set that's designed to be custom fit for the better player who's very demanding in what they're looking for out of trajectory of each and every iron. Absolutely, absolutely. And with these MP18s, you talked a little bit about it, um, but can you go a little bit more in depth as to the players that would be fit for each of these clubs? The MP line it reaches so low into the handicap range that we've seen scratch players, tour players play all three of these models. Mm -hmm. However, when you get higher up in the handicap range, it's like this one drops off, then this one drops mm -hmm. off, then this one drops off. So this is really for the shot maker. This is for the lowest handicap best ball striker. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a step higher up. So this was probably a, still a single digit player, yeah. but somebody who wants a little bit more launch. When you get to the MMC, you've got the added forgiveness of the multi-material. So that's going to stretch the forgiveness up even higher than that. For sure. So I could say you could get into the mid-teens with that. But the beauty of the line is that by mixing and matching, even that guy who's a mid-teens player but is a good wedge player could pull a muscle back into the short irons and ultimately make a combo set that's perfect for them. Mizuno irons have been so popular, so successful over the years. Um, can you explain a little bit about the differences between some of the JPX line, which is yeah. also very successful, and then what the MP brings exclusively to its line? Absolutely. And it's funny how the lines have been blurred between mm -hmm. MP and JPX, particularly with the JPX Tour. MP, we always talk about, this is a nod to tradition. The MPs look like golf clubs that could have been made 60 years ago, 100 years ago, just because they're so clean. Mm -hmm. JPEX, on the other hand, we get a little bit more aggressive with. Okay. There's still plenty of technology in the MP, but they look have that classic look from behind. Sure. They look like classics. Mm -hmm. They don't look dated at all. The JPEX, on the other hand, we're willing to make more risks. Like, we'll pull mass more extreme to the toe. Sure. We'll put angular cuts that look more modern. It's funny how this is like an, a nod to the past, and yeah. the JPEX is a look to the future. Okay. So that's really how we differentiate the two. Awesome. Well, Chris, this is some great information. Really appreciate your time.